this season's it's a big learning curve for sure like from just saturday you can't really walk the track um to sunday just the intensity is so crazy off the start you just got to be on your game right off the start like from last year you kind of you kind of had your first lap or two, like kind of slow, then it starts off getting faster and faster. Um, this year's just been really, really different. <clears throat> it's really hard to figure out the pace and stay with the guys. It's really different. Coming into the season, I was really looking forward to being on the Yamahas and um, just get ready to get out there uh, for round one and just ready to get racing. Uh, I just wanted to finish like top 10 every race. Um, be competitive mostly and round one didn't really go the way I was hoping it I had a bad wreck and injured my shoulder back and chest and missed the next few races trying to get over that most people don't realize the how bad my injury was like it didn't really look that bad because I was up and walking like in two races or whatever but like the pain I was having it was I couldn't really explain it and come to find out I I basically sprained all the ligaments in my back, my chest, and separated my shoulder. And there was some other little things there. And it, I was on the recliner for like a week and a half, and I was going through chiropractor twice a day for a week after that. And it was just a long, slow, progressive incline. And it would just seem like it took forever to get back on the bike. I think I was off the bike like a month, a month and a half. It was just brutal.
everything that's happened this season, <clears throat> the main thing now is just to continue working hard over the break. Um, just have fun with it. That's the way I was brought up. That's the way we used to do it when I was a kid. And that's why I started this sport, it was just because it was fun.